So I went book shopping. First book that I picked up, Good Girl Complex, and I just finished this book yesterday, and I am so happy with this book. Rich Girl meets Bad Boy. I don't really think he was a bad boy. I don't want to give too much away, but I really enjoyed this book. I feel like I would rate this a 3 out of 5. This had 355 pages, which is a good chunk of book. I finished this in like 3 to 4 days. I feel like the ending was the only thing that I wasn't a fan of because it felt a little too rushed. Um, and then the next book that I got, seen all over TikTok, it's called The Love Hypothesis. The main character's name is Olive and her best friend thinks that she's not moving on or like not dating anymore or whatever the case. I really don't know what this book is about, but she basically kisses the first guy that she sees to prove to her best friend that I moved on and I'm doing well. And it ends up being like one of her, I don't even know. This is also a grumpy meets sunshine trope. So a grumpy guy meets a happy girl. The love hypothesis, I'm not exactly sure what point of view this is gonna be in. I honestly don't really know much about this book because I didn't wanna know too much. I wanted to go in this and like not knowing anything. It looks really, really interesting. And this next one I'm actually currently reading right now. It's called My Killer Vacation and I immediately was drawn into this book. Like the first five pages I already was like, what is about to happen the second grade teacher she goes on vacation with her brother they rent out this house and she's about to take a bath you know she wants to relax and she notices something and she decides to you know look around and ask her brother and then she opens a laundry door and she notices a dead body the police show up and there's a guy working on the case as well and he's a bounty hunter and the girl the main character in the book she's very intrigued with this case because you know, if you were staying at a house and you noticed a dead body, like you want to know like what happened. You know, the bounty hunter is kind of grumpy. He's kind of like, no, I'm working on this case kind of thing. I'm not even done. So I'm only 70 pages in. I honestly am loving this book so far. I immediately was drawn into it. The characters I'm already loving, like they're fun. It's a little spicy, like so far it's like a little spicy, a little spicy. Um, and I don't mind it. I love a good spicy romance. Uh, please don't spoil anything in the comments because I'm not finished with any of these books. This one is a dual point of view as well as the good girl complex. They show both point of views of people, which I really am loving because I get to see like what's in his brain, what's in hers. Tessa Bailey's writing so far, like I'm really into this book. Like I was drawn immediately and that says a lot because I get buoyed Boy. I get bored very fast and the fact that this book captured my attention in like the first two pages says a lot. I can't stand the slow books. Like it gets to the point and like let's go. Like let's hurry this up because I want to know. <laughs> I love that it's not super long. It's around 290 pages. When I finish this book I'm definitely going to read up more about Tessa Bailey because this book so far I really love. The last three books that I bought are The Summer I Turned Pretty and if you have not seen the series on Amazon Prime, it's so good and I watched it before even knowing it was a book. Like I didn't even know it was a book. But when I watched the series, everybody was talking about like, oh, a Team Conrad, Team Jeremiah. It's like, it's a book? <laughs> and I really love Jenny Han. Like I watched To All the Boys I Loved. I absolutely love it. So I got The Summer I Turned Pretty. I decided to buy the version to like have their face at the front so I could just keep picturing them. I cannot wait to read this. And then I got the second one, which is It's Not Summer Without You. And then the third, We'll Always Have Summer. People are Team Conrad in the book. So I want to see if I'm going to be Team Conrad as well because in the series, I'm Team Jeremiah 1000%. Like when I was watching the series, I was like, no doubt I'm Team Jeremiah. But please no spoilers. Who would have thought that I would be actually reading for fun because in high school you could not pay me to read. Sorry to my English teacher if you're watching this. I love you. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not me. I am a sucker for romance. I am a hopeless romantic. Loving the killer vacation because it's a mix of mystery, murder, crime solving, and also romance. I feel like I'm picking the perfect books to read right now because it's still summer and this book is based in summer as well on vacation. This one was a beachy book. Um, I feel like I'm reading it in a good order right now. Like I think I might read this one last because The Summer I Turned Pretty is based in the summertime so I think I'm gonna start reading this right after 
this one so yeah if you wanted to check out any of these books i will leave it in the description box to my amazon storefront i'm really into reading right now i'm having i'm having a blast so yeah every night i've been reading and it's been a great time it's been a grand old time i'm really excited to see my book collection grow if you have any recommendations like romance spicy romance but i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you rate thumbs up comment down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there to see more videos from me and i will talk to you in my next video bye